Hi, happy Sunday. I hope you're having a wonderful day so far. My name is Lori. I'm also known as Sign Moon. Let's go ahead and get to our star seed reading for the week. This will be for the week of May 8th through May 14th. We'll take a look at Soar's heart, Earth heart, outcome, and grounded action, and we will use the star seed deck by Rebecca Campbell as we usually do. If you like my videos, please remember to hit like, subscribe, and come on back for more. And, you know, and ring the little bell for notifications. All right, let's go ahead and get these shuffled up and take a look. I celebrated my birthday today with my children and grandchildren. It was great. I'll throw up a picture and picture of the, the, the crew, you might say. We're an odd lot, but we're a happy lot. Yeah, two kids and... My son-in-law, daughter-in-law, and five grandbabies. It was fantastic. It really was. We went to Granite City in, over in Davenport, Iowa. It was a good lunch. Brunch. Star ancestors. Hidden secrets. Lost wisdom. Look a little deeper. Soros is asking us all to look a little deeper to our roots and who we are to find that we go all the way back to Egypt, to the beginning of time, to truly realize that the secrets need to stop being hidden from others and it's time to truly reveal who we are and to shine brightly as we look even deeper within our hearts and souls to reveal the magic to others, the magic that we alone know when we interact with our angelic beings of light, the little ones inside of us that has a direct connection to Saurus. What do our hearts say? Jump in. Andromeda energy. Adventure. Say yes to change. Please say yes to change. Say yes to who you're supposed to be. And allow the little one to come out and shine. Allow them just to sing their joy to the stars. To the heavens above. And let them guide you along your path. For they truly do hold the answers to your existence to the existence of all time. They absolutely do. Let's go ahead and see what Earth says. Double mission. Light worker, star seed, serve the world by being you, by being the real you, the you that you are when you connect with your little one inside, the you that you are when you shine your light and let it burst forth as the star seed that you are. When you allow all your love to come from your heart and just shoot out to the heavens above and all around you, that's by serving the world by being you, the star seed that you are, the angelic being of light when you connect to your little one. I mean, if you need help connecting and you're not truly understanding, reach out to me. I have a class coming up soon for connecting to your angels, guides, and spirits and your higher self. If you're questioning it, reach out to me. I'll tell you exactly what they mean and how to connect. I mean, we all get our own messages and you know, it's important that you learn how to establish that connection. And if you're struggling, please reach out to me. All right, let's see what our hearts say to earth. Called, soul gifts and training. It's time to step up. It's time for all of us to step up for mother earth and father sky. It's time for all of us to step up and show who we truly are on the inside. To allow our heart's magic to shine forth and truly bring about the destiny that was meant for us. To truly have the life worth living with all of its glory, knowing that we are children of the divine. Let's go ahead and see the outcome. Star Brothers, Horus Energy, Protection, Loyalty, Safety trust well that's a good energy to have isn't it i would say star brothers and star sisters as we work together to truly lift one another up and hold each other in total love and loyalty and always safety and trust absolutely just remember just like i said yesterday with the reading the divine feminine and the divine masculine within all of us is so important and needs to be revered. Not one over the other, but both equally. All right, let's go ahead and see what our, our grounded outcome is, or our grounded action, I'm sorry. The Seven Star Sisters, Birthing Creations, 
tapestry of life expression. Well, that's a great grounded action to express ourselves, to birth our creations, our ideas, to truly work within the tapestry of our own lives and that of the universe, to truly bring forth the light, the love and the laughter that we all deserve within this life. We all deserve it, we all do. No matter who we are or where we come from, no matter what dimension you live in or which realm you hail as your home, it just doesn't matter. We are all angelic beings of light of the same divine energy and life force that flows through all of us, through all of creation and all of the universe. It's time for all of us to put acting like we're separate and to put away the labels and come together as one child of the cosmos, for that's what we all are. The intelligence of the universe lies within all of us. That's what the card says, but it's true. Within all of us is our star seed, our angelic being of light, our little one who came with us to earth to be birthed, to come into this world with us and teach us how to be a spiritual being again. People say we're here to learn how to be human, but we're not. We're here to teach the humans how to be a spiritual person, a spiritual being, to truly tap into their angelic beings of light and truly manifest the life they desire as working with the energies. We all need to work within those energies and truly realize where we come from and the divine light that is within us our angelic star seed, our angelic being of light, our divine essence that lives right here in our heart space, everything it feels radiates 15 feet out from us. It does. And if it's feeling sad, sadness is what you're gonna radiate out. If you're angry, you're, you'll feel that, other people will feel it. Be conscious of what it is you're putting out into the universe. I'm not telling you not to put out your sadness of course you wanna let the universe know when you're sad so they can bring healing your way to make you happy again. But just be cognizant of what's going on around you and within you and allow yourself to shine the very best you can. And if you need help, remember to reach out to your community. Reach out to me, brothers and sisters alike within this world, along this path to ascension, this path to light. Right, love and light to you always. Yes, we're in it to win it. We absolutely are. Just remember it's all about the journey and not the final destination. All right, bright blessings to you always. I wish you the best in life. I truly do. Namaste. Bye-bye.